Today I'm going to show you how to make a flat white on a Gaja Classic Pro. This is the newest model with a manual steam wand. So also what I'm going to be using today, uh, a Barazza Sete 270 grinder. Um, really like this grinder, nice fluffy grind. The coffee I'll be using, Maroma's Orfea. It's a nice Italian style bean blend, makes a lot of crema. So let's go ahead and get started. So you always want to leave your portafilter locked in so it's warm. So I've got that. I'm going to take that. Now I've already dialed in my coffee and I know to get about 17 grams, it's four seconds on the Sete 270. So I'll just press the button there. Really like this grinder, nice fluffy grinds there. Um, I'm going to use a jack leveler to uh, compress and level out my coffee. Just lay that in there and spin that. Really like the jack here. It's got an adjustable, easily adjustable depth. Very nice, easy to use, and you can see it makes a really nice level uh, compression of the coffee there. So we'll lock that in. I'm using a, yeah, it's about a six ounce cup here. So I'm gonna do a double shot right into there, again with a 17 gram. So to get my shot going, just gonna press the brew button there. Yeah, we'll have a look at this come. And I'm looking for two ounces, that's about 60 milliliters in my cup. And you can see that really nice, lovely crema dripping out there nicely. You take a look at that stuff. This shot's gonna run about oh, 20, 25 seconds here. And that should be good there. So right from there, I'm gonna turn my steam on right here. It takes about 45 seconds for it to get up to steam temperature. So while that's heating up, I'm gonna Use some nice whole milk. I like the whole milk for its sweet, creamy flavor. I'm using a Rattleware Latte Art Pitcher here. Now, I'm not going to pour any art on this. And I know that for my purposes in this drink, I need to go about, oh, just a half an inch or so below where the spout starts. Um, so here we go. There's our nice espresso. Oh, look at that crema. That really makes nice crema, the aromas Orphea. Um, now a little trick with this, what you can do is try and hit the steam on or start steaming before the actual steam ready light comes on here. That'll keep the heating element on, maybe give you a little bit more steam power. You don't have to do that. Um, one thing you do want to do is definitely always purge your wand. Now the light just came on, it's ready. So I'm going to purge any moisture out of the wand there. Got that out. Then I'm going to put the tip just below the surface of the milk here and turn my steam on. Now the tip position, that's gonna help get a little air in. What I'm gonna do is keep adding air until the outside of the pitcher just starts to warm. So I'm maybe just lowering the pitcher a little bit as the milk expands there. Pitcher is just starting to get warm, so I'm gonna lower that tip down. Now I'm just gonna continue heating the milk without adding more air, and I like that nice roll that's happening there. Until the outside of the pitcher is just too hot to hold, that's about 140 Fahrenheit. That's what I like. Then we're gonna wipe the wand. Always purge your wand after steaming. And I'll shut my steam off in a minute. We're gonna come back, cool down the boiler. I'll show you how to do that. So there's our milk. And if you've got any excess air bubbles you don't want in that, you just give it a few taps and swirls. And what you're looking for is something that looks a little bit like latex paint in a can. It's got that nice shiny surface. So from there, I'm just going to do a pour. Now again, I'm not going to do any art here. I'm going to pour that right in the center, and then just let a little bit of that foam on top. And there you go, a nice, beautiful, flat white. Let me take a taste here. Mmm, that's delicious. So now you want to cool down the boiler. So I've got another steaming pitcher here. You could do it right into the drip tray if you want. So what I'm going to do, I already turned my steam off. Now I'm just going to open the steam wand and turn on the brew switch until I get a stream of water coming out of the steam wand, full stream. Just like that. And that just cooled down, refilled my boiler. And that's it. Just give everything a little wipe down. So again, nice, beautiful, flat white there with a double shot of espresso. Again, I was using the Maromas Orfea Barazze Sete 270 and the new Gaja Classic Pro with the manual steam wand.